Well, find out what all the crazy early spring signs mean today on Tattooed Granny. Yeah, it's going to be a story. I'm going on a cold winter walk. We're going to see some early spring signs. Join me today. I'm going to one of my Elmy spots to look in a forlorn way. Forlorn, longing for spring. I'm going to look at all my elm trees. Big Daddy too. Starting to stress. Might be good next year. This year some little buds. Start to peel. And that's going to make this whole area loaded with delicious mushrooms. I received some awesome mittens for the holidays. They're made in Austria. They are boiled wool. They're made two sizes too big and boiled to seal them into waterproofness. Super warm. Great for walking around in this cold. As you see, a little snow has fallen. More to come. So yeah, I've got new gloves, but as you can see, don't really need them. Tattoo Granny's body is a furnace. I've not really needed gloves hiking in the winter, but just in case for emergencies, windy or stormy, these new Austrian boiled wool gloves will keep me warm and dry. Maybe a candlelight hike I would use them. That's what's going on this time of year. Oh, look at these beauties. Lots of deadness. I like it. Okay, trail's icy. But fortunately, boom, I got on my spikes. Boom. I won't slip, slide, and die. Yeah, I can wear sneakers. Cool beans. Hey, Tattoo Granny, I, I see you walking a lot of the same spots. Why do you do that? Well, first of all, I'm old. And I'm old school. So I'm not putting the morels and the trees in my GPS. I'm using my mind, my memory. So it needs refreshing throughout the winter. Where the trees are, what state of decay did they fruit last year? Living trees, when did they fruit? That kind of thing. Once you get into a kind of a system, you're gonna find a lot more mushrooms. As long as you remember where the trees are. Yeah. Yeah, I got those expensive wool gloves for nothing. Apparently gloves are growing on trees in this wood. What up? Okay then. Uh, these old downs are way past prime, but I picked on them years ago. It's also ash in here. A lot of ash. Death and destruction. What the heck? There's robins. i never seen a robin in January. I've only ever seen them first week of March. What? It's been too warm. Look, there's one right there. Flying around. There's his wife. Goodness gracious. So as I'm walking, I'm seeing a ton of robins. This is bad, people. It's going to be an early spring. That's a huge sign. And next month, it's going to get real cold. But they're right here now. Oh, no. I'm worried. Animals sense things. That El Nino has been running hot, low on water. Both things bad for spring. I want to think positive. Please change. Please. I've heard people down south picking on cottonwoods. Well, I got this amazing cottonwood spot right here. But they really don't fruit. Morels really don't fruit on them. Ex with one exception, the guy that got lightning struck and burned. He fruited one big morel. And you can see cottonwoods got the extremely furrowed bark. I mean, it's crazy furrowed, right? Deep, deep, deep. And these beautiful little heart-shaped leaves Beautiful, they're all down on the ground here. Look at them. So if you have those in your area, 
you can check them. Maybe black morels, you know, check early. Ding dong, dead am. Morel maker for sure. Hey, do I have any shed hunters out there? I'm in my 60s and still haven't found my first one. And I'm wondering if this heat, this early heat, might make the bucks drop sooner. I mean, I'm out in January. I know that's too early, but you know, maybe February instead of March. Let me know in the comments if you're a shed hunter, what you think, what you're thinking about it. And any tips, because I'd sure like to find one of those things before I die. Yeah, here's an elm. He's dead. He's surrounded by rocks, which can heat up and make it fruit earlier than others. Use that meat thermometer. Here's the Garden of the Giants. The humongous old cottonwoods. I think they pop some mushrooms for me. I picked on this guy two, three years in a row, but about two years ago. People are going to check this guy. It's bringing a waste of time. He's done. He's finished. So here I am by Serenity Spring. Yeah. And uh, I'll give you three reasons why I think it's going to be a warmer than normal, early, poor spring. Precipitation is way below average in the Midwest. In Wisconsin, we are 10 inches below in moisture. That's going to be hard to make up unless we get some huge dumps of snow or very good rainfall in the next few months. That moisture needs to get into the soil to help the morels form their fruiting bodies and that's not happening. Okay, number two, today we saw a bunch of robins, which I've only ever seen in March. It is the first, going on second week of January. This is the robins we saw today are a bad sign. Um, I'm in Wisconsin, Illinois border. They're supposed to come in March. They're here in January. Bad news. And then of course El Nino. And El Nino possibly bringing warm weather, dry weather to the Midwest. El Nino right now is 60-40 chance in our favor of a neutral spring, but we still have to make up the precipitation and get plenty of it. And it looks like it's gonna be warm and dry. Fingers crossed for a neutral spring and lots of rain. Good luck. Morels, we need them. We need a good spring. Please. My GoPro battery keeps dying. It's cold. It's a piece of junk. Nice dead guy. Get him. Hello beautiful shroomers. This is a little eyeball update for y'all. I'm going under the knife in February, March for my second eye. The vitreous has detached, it's all blurry. You're gonna get me a new contact lens first. Maybe suck out the juice later on. Yeah. My first eye is 2020 now. It's good for shrooming. Fingers crossed for number two. Helm of death and destruction. The spikes help with mud too. Slippery, but they dig in. Oh, it's walking, make my head boiling. Whew, is there steam coming off of it? Oh, feels like it. Happy New Year. And thanks for watching everyone.